All right, so in my show, I use uh, two vertical columns on my stage, whether I create them out of two vertical LED walls and have them custom designed for me, or in many cases for years, I have been using fabric columns uh, exactly uh, the height of the stage, usually about eight feet wide. That is kind of my own little idea that I did years ago for waterfall projections, and that waterfall projection ended up becoming a three-minute scene in the show, and then ultimately I used that surface through uh, future shows and that same set piece to do multiple things, um, including things like you're seeing right now. Uh, this is actually a scene from one of our sh uh, shows in the very beginning when um, uh, we actually come out of the floor uh, and we actually animate the titles to come out of the floor on top. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Uh, as you probably figured out, I did the, uh, the map on this vertical uh, columns which is pretty simple. This is our um, left map and uh, of course you have the right map as well which are those two sections right there. Um, one of the things that I did is to create this effect right here. It's obviously a video loop um, but I did not want them looking the way they came. So I will show you um, exactly how to create that and manipulate your videos because if we actually play the original video, um, let's see, it looks like this. This was the original video. So that's what your video is gonna look like when you throw it onto your surface. So to get it to look nice and to fill the effect you want, I had to do a few minor touches to that video. Yes, one option is to go into Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere and to physically make that video fit that shape and that's a very easy way to go. However, I'm doing different things constantly and I just rather do it on site without having to go edit videos. So in this case, you're going to go to your file. In this case, it's my blue moving 4K background. And then you're going to go into um, custom geometry which now allows you to move it around. Now you could just zoom it like that, that's fine, but I want that vertical look. So in order to get the vertical look, I'm going to go here to my X rotation. I'm gonna click the X rotation and I'm gonna rot rotate it um, 180 degrees, which is gonna flip it like it just did. And then I'm gonna to go to the Z rotation and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees which spins it like that, okay? Now I'm gonna zoom that in, and then I'm also gonna change the perspective a, a little bit, uh, the geometry, so I can fit the whole entire screen in that way. Now you can't just uh, choose uh, fit screen, because if you choose fit screen, it's gonna spin it back sideways again. So uh, you need to stay in custom geometry for this, but now you have this uh, look going that direction. Um, so we're gonna copy this, and paste a new one. Uh, but this time if I hit play, it's not gonna, whoops. Let's try that again, I forgot to change the surface. So on the second one, we're gonna change the surface to right. On that right surface, uh, if I fire it, it doesn't look that great because they're both going exactly the same direction. And I don't want that, I want it to look um, even on stage. So in order to get the even, you're gonna go here to the rotation on the number X, letter X, you're gonna type in 180 to flip that around 180 degrees. And now you see how we have this nice effect where the light beams are going out. Of course you have full control of that. You could spin it uh, this direction or that direction. You could of course spin it uh, this way as well. Um, you, can, you can have full control over how that looks. Uh, but in fact, at the moment, all I wanna do is make it look like that. Now, I also have this um, alpha channel PNG um, text file that I made. It's on a loop, and if I play the loop, it looks just like that. Um, but I wanna get those um, individual names to be on just the actual uh, columns. So in order to do that, very simple, you're going to go back into custom geometry and uh, you're now going to see I have that exactly where I want it so we're going to zoom in a little bit more and put that right in the center like so we're going to copy and paste it, change that 
graphic to the right hand column and this time we're going to press play on that and we're going to go ahead and slide the Justino over and show my wife's name which is Daniela. Okay. Now, um, as you learned already with animations, in order to animate that, what I do in our show is when it starts, let's make a group and let's take all of these and add them into the group. Okay. Opening columns. All right. Okay, now to animate those titles, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put both of the titles off of the screen. So uh, I've just labeled that one Justino. This one is going to be Daniela. Um, you're going to see as I took the I took it into custom geometry and now I dragged it off of the screen from the bottom, which is how I want it to come into the screen. Uh, Daniela, I've already dragged it down off the screen like that. And I'm going to create a fade cue, which I've just done. And uh, the fade cue is attached to Justino. And all that you do is you highlight uh, or check mark the translation. And then simply translate that movement to where you want it to end up, which is right about there. Okay. Now uh, we're going to copy that. This time we're going to link the Daniela video. And we are going to show the translation I want this video to pop up like that right about there now we're gonna put a delay um, no, I guess I can yeah put a delay of three seconds on each one of these um, we're gonna hit a load time which should fire the background automatically in three seconds is gonna start the movement of the title sequence as it comes up now, um, that's much faster than it is in my show because of the, um, the actual, uh, the, the elevator is designed to go much slower than that for a slower entrance. So do I, if I want to change that, I can just change the action time to 15 seconds and we can hit load, fire that. And now in three seconds, it'll start to bring up those titles. There you go. And we're on an elevator coming up really slow out of the floor right here at the same time. And my wife is on this side, I am on that side, and it looks really, really cool. Now, what I, if you might have noticed, what looks really bad here right now is the fact that um, when this starts, it starts really like bam in your face, and I hate that. So we're going to grab both of these cues and we're going to lower the opacity. Yes, you can highlight two cues at once and adjust both at the same time. We're going to lower the opacity to zero, and we are going to create a new fade cue. Um, and we're going to bring the fade, uh, sorry, I have to attach the file first, yeah. Attach the file first, and then bring the opacity up to 100%. Copy and paste that, and attach the second file to it. And we're going to do this action uh, is going to be four seconds. Let's try that, how that looks. We're going to hit load, load, and we're going to fire that cue. Now watch how those backgrounds fade in nice and pretty, nice and smooth. And then here comes the actual title sequence. And as you see, I did a very, very bad job by when I edited, I left a white background line there, which has to be chopped off. <laughs> but that is the movement sequence on two individual columns. Uh, so once again, so many cool things you can do with this.